Hi everyone, welcome to the uh, Yuva deep learning tutorials. I'm Philip, I'm one of your TAs and I will be responsible for uh, guiding you through these um, Jupyter notebooks we have created. Uh, you can already see, so here we are already on the website where you can find all the notebooks. It's just uadlc-notebooks.readthedocs.io. You can also find the link if you go to our deep learning website, just under links. Or we also have provided if you go up to the specific lectures or tutorials, you can just open them and we will have in here the links where you can also find the respective notebooks. The idea of the notebooks in general is that it is complementary to the lectures and shows you basically the theory you have learned uh, also in the implementation because in deep learning or in AI in general it's so important to also need to know this implementation side and the tricks and um, and everything you actually need to implement. We will also guide you then through more uh, specifics of the framework we will use here for PyTorch so that you actually get uh, to see more implementations but also get more familiar with the framework because PyTorch will be very important throughout uh, your master here at UVA in AI and probably also in your thesis. So as I said, if you go here on the website of the notebooks, you can find first year where I also explain the same thing I will explain now. Um, so in general, we will have the notebooks about 30 to 45 minutes, the presentations, and they basically are implementation of a theory in the lecture. We will um, provide you these notebooks so you can actually also run themselves. Um, Depending on what you prefer, you can either run it locally on your computer, so you can download the notebooks we have here and run it uh, just as you have it with a deep learning environment. Of course, you will then run on a CPU, as you might already know, in an IO GPU is quite important. Um, but we have designed all these notebooks that you can run them without a GPU. So you can download them. We will provide pre-trained models that you don't have to do a full training, um, which would be expensive computationally, um, but you can run them locally. Alternatively, you can also run it on Google Colab. This is also, we will have always a link for each tutorial where you can directly open it in Google Colab. Google Colab is then a platform which provides you uh, also with a GPU where you run it basically on the server, nothing to do with your own computer. Um, and the trick there is basically you can open it, run it, and close it without having any files stored. You can store the files if you want to change something, but you don't have to. So this might be the easiest way actually to go. As a third option, we also have that you can run it actually on Lisa, on the supercomputer you had the introduction to, where you basically would convert this Jupyter notebook to a script and run it there. But I would only recommend doing that in case you really want to pre-train or you want to train your own models, um, which would take several hours on a good GPU, then it might be beneficial to actually go with Lisa. But when we do the presentations here, we will actually mostly use the Colab option just to show you that uh, you can run it exactly the same. For the tutorials, we will also basically show here alignment between the tutorial sessions we have and the lectures. We try to uh, separate them quite nicely that we have one tutorial per lecture, but it's not always possible uh, given the topics and also what you do in the practicals, because you also do one side of the implementation of a theory in the practicals. Um, you can always then check in this list where the tutorials actually went along um, with the lecture you look at. Finally, I also want to say that this is the first time we do these tutorials, so I cannot guarantee that everything runs perfectly and there are no bugs at all. If you find any bugs, any spelling mistakes or anything where you feel like, okay, that can be improved, then please let me know. Um, we have a feedback form. You can post the feedback on Piazza wherever you want. I'm, I really appreciate it if you can post that. After then this introduction, we will then uh, for today's session go into tutorial two here, the introduction to PyTorch. The tutorial one, working with a Lisa cluster, can shortly open it. It doesn't have code and doesn't really, it's designed to be presented, but you have already had the Surf Sour um, session. 
the presentation about the Lisa cluster, and I would recommend you to just go through this guide, which basically explains you a little bit uh, more clearly how you can use Lisa for exactly deep learning uh, for our course. And if you have there any problems, then please let any of your TAs know on Piazza, and we can uh, clarify them. So then um, we will now start with an introduction to Python.